Hey guys, are you ready to talk about Week in the Life 2023? I can't believe it's already here. This is my favorite project of the year. I'm so excited and I'm getting ready to prep my album with you guys here today. So stick around and let's dive in. Okay, so I have a few things out on my desk here that I wanna share with you. I haven't done really anything yet or very little, um, but I'm gonna kinda of do this process along with you. So I didn't purchase, I didn't wanna to purchase too many supplies this year. I often per pick up the main kit and work with that, but this year I decided to go in a little bit of a different direction. I'm going to be working in the six by eight album. This is a just a plain, I think it's black, but it might be a dark gray linen album that's from Allie Edwards. And it's just plain white on the inside. It's a perfect blank canvas. I'm not sure if I'm going to add anything to the inside cover, I might. I'm kind of wanting to go super playful this year, super colorful. And that was just kind of my idea for this project. So I like to do kind of a rainbow every year. I tend to do, um, try to do from red through pink in a rainbow for the seven days. And I tend to select my products to try to do that. The problem is the kits tend to have colored products with the days of the week name on them, and they don't match my perfect rainbow that I want. So I end up having to kind of fudge it a little bit or mess around with it. And then the kit this year just didn't match the rainbow at all. So I decided that I was not gonna get the main kit. I was going to embrace my rainbow and I was going to work with that instead. So this is my jumping off point, is a bright, colorful rainbow. I'm not sure if I'm loving this pink color. I also have this one, but it seems too light, but a lot of times the color on the outside doesn't match the color that comes out of the bottle. So I'm still deciding on the pink, but I have red for Monday, orange for Tuesday, yellow for Wednesday, green for Thursday, blue for Friday, purple for Saturday, and pink for Sunday. And if you followed me and looked at my other projects, I tend to do this in Week in the Life every year, and I also tend to do this in my planner. Um, I use, do in my daily planner, my Hobonichi cousin, I tend to use that same color scheme on my weeklies and my dailies, and I've done that for years now in bullet journals or whatever planner I'm using. And if you're interested in more of my planning, I will link that up in the eye now. So for this year, I decided not to pick up the main kit, but I did get the mini kit, which includes a lot of AM and PM themed project products. And so I have some of them here and I will go through that when I'm working out my plan. But the first thing I wanted to focus on, and I have a notebook here with some things I was just kind of brainstorming. But the first thing I wanna focus on are creating my days of the week dividers. So I wanna tell you where I am with that. Historically, I've purchased the ones from Allie Edwards, but this year I wanted to embrace my color scheme and I wanted to make my own. So to do that, I'm using this clear acetate. This is super thick and this is it with the film on it. When you remove the film, it is perfectly clear and it is sturdy, so it's great for dividers. And I just picked this up on Amazon and I will link that in the description box below if you're interested in doing the same. My plan was to hand letter the word of the day of the week on each one in the color. Now, obviously I did not just paint this with a paintbrush because I cannot do that that perfectly. I drew this on my iPad with an Apple pencil and then I used my silhouette to cut it out of um, vinyl, adhesive vinyl. So you, know, you can see this peels up. Here's the Wednesday on there. And then I took out the days of the week. So here's Monday and Tuesday on like sticker paper. So these are still good stickers. And then I used the backer to create a stencil. So that was my plan. What I struggled with is to figure out how to fill it in. So I did the Monday first, and obviously this one is really messed up. I'm going to redo it. I'm not expecting it to be perfect, but this one just didn't work out. The Tuesday is good enough that I'm going to keep it and hopefully learn from my mistakes and the other days will be better. So what I'm doing is I'm painting with the acrylic paint and on the orange, I did three coats. On the red, I had only done one coat and you can see it doesn't really, it's on there great. 
But the problem with just acrylic paint on just this plastic transparency here is once it dries, you can just scratch it right off. So I needed something to seal it in. So what I decided to do on this one was I painted over it with clear nail polish because I thought that that would be good at sealing it in. And it does, you can't scratch it off. The problem is it peels right up. And I'm not gonna peel it off of here, but it does, It can you can peel it off. And as I was removing the um, template, the or the stencil, it was peeling off. And like this piece I pushed back down here, some of it just came off. And I didn't do enough coats on the red. So I'm gonna redo this one, totally okay with that. And then when I did Tuesday, what I painted over it with it, what I did three coats of the orange, which worked out. I feel like I could have maybe used a little bit more, but that's fine. And then I just used some Mod Podge. What I really loved about the clear nail polish was how glossy it made it. When you paint with just the paint on here, it's dull, it's not glossy. The Mod Podge does give it a little bit of a glossiness. It's not quite as much as the nail polish. Of course, the glossy probably doesn't look great on camera because you probably have some glare, but it does, it's very shiny and nice in person. It adds a little bit of texture. I feel like over time, maybe it could get scratched up, dinged up, but mostly it's pretty solid. So my plan is to put these on all of the dividers, punch my holes, and that will be my divider for the day. I'm not sure yet if I wanna add anything else. I was considering adding something behind it, adhered on here, but I'm not sure yet. Or I might just think about like what the uh, what the photo is going to be behind it um, before I go into like the beginning of the day. So right now I'm gonna go, put you guys on fast forward and work on some of these. I'm not gonna film my entire process, but I wanted you to kind of get an idea of how these are coming together for me. And then I will um, pop back on here once these are all completed and go through the rest of my plan with you.
few days, I finished my dividers. I had some mixed results. Some of them are better than others. I think this is the one that came out the best. For the pink, I ended up mixing two of the paints to get a pink that I liked. Um, some of them didn't come out so great, like the purple. I don't know what was going on with that one, and I think the paint maybe needed some white mix into it or something. And the Thursday one, I um, didn't center it right, so you can see there's like a little bit of extra divider, and then it kind of goes off the edge, but that's fine. I'm happy with these. They're personalized. No one else is going to have the same dividers as me, which I love. They have my rainbow colors, and I think it's a fun way for me to start the day. So what I'm going to do with you guys now is go through kind of my album setup and put my album together. So I have my album right here. And the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and put the Monday in here. And I have already put, actually I'm going to put it this direction. I've already put some divided page protectors in here as kind of like a starting. They're all the four pockets. And I was just kind of thinking through my pro my layout. So I sketched out a rough sketch. And what I'm going to do with you guys now is I'm going to do a more clear sketch on the next page here so that I have just like a good outline of how my week in the life is going to look. So week in the life. Okay, so every day in this album, I follow a formula. And so here's kind of my rough formula. Um, but I'm going to just kind of sketch this out in here and I'm going to use a ruler just so that it can look really nice for me. Um, so I will speed it up as I'm drawing. running out of space at the end but that's fine I just wanted to kind of have a basic grid in here where I could sketch out my plan for the day so I've done this for multiple years in the past most of the years in the past and when I do this I tend to over plan so I will plan too many pages that just is too much to fit in my album now do I take enough photos and stuff to fill that usually I do at least in you know Monday Tuesday Saturday and Sunday but I tend to, I mean, this album is only so thick and I want stuff that is going to fit in one album. So that's part of the reason I'm doing this plan where I limited the number of pages I have. I have one, so this is like pages back to back. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages per day. I also have a title, my title divider here. So I'm just gonna sketch this in. Now, I like the look of mixed, like wide pages versus narrow pages or like full pages. So I'm kind of, I kind of planned that here. You can see I have a few narrower pages. Um, I will mark that on here, but most of them are the full outside the page protector size because I really like that. So I always want to start my day with a full page photo. I've done that for probably every single year. And then I tend to move into my journaling. So this year I think I wanna move into my journaling where I'm going to kind of put the cursive word here across the top. I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna use these stickers that I created to create these dividers and just put that and then type my journaling or if I'm gonna do something else, but that's kind of my idea right now. And then I'm just gonna have my typed journaling here. Now, sometimes my journaling fits on one page, sometimes it doesn't. So my plan is that this page right here is going to be optional, depending on if I need it for additional journaling. 
but my plan is that my journaling will at the max fill these three pages with some additional photos on here. And this one is going to be a 5.5 inches wide. I used that size last year. It worked really well to kind of balance some wider pages with some narrower pages with this being a full page. So I'm just gonna write on here that this one is an optional page because sometimes I won't need it and I'm kind of counting on that to not have too much bulk in my album. So then I'm flipping back. So then I want to use these words. And when I came up with this plan, where I'm coming up with my plan here and I'm setting my album up, I am I created this checklist. And this checklist has everything I'm going to collect in each day so that I stay on top of that. One of them is an AM PM photo. So I have these here. There's sunset, night, evening, morning, sunrise, and there's a few more over here. There's day and a.m. p.m. So there's eight of these. That gives me one per day except a.m. p.m. It's going to be on its own day with both of those. So my plan for those is that I'm going, I wrote them all out here. So I'm going to designate one per day based on what photos I capture that day. So say Monday, I take a really nice sunrise photo. I'm going to mark sunrise and then I'm going to check that off. I'm going to designate that one as done and I'm going to call it good. Now, the problem with those in my formula is some of them are morning, some of them are night. I want the morning ones at the beginning and I want the night ones at the end. So I'm going to switch it based on what I'm doing. But my thought is this is going to be like on a full page photo. So it'll say like sunrise and some of them I can put this way. Um, other ones I might need to put this way because of the size of the album, but I will do like sunrise or morning. Like the morning one is really big, so it's going to have to go vertical and it might even get cut off a little bit, but that's fine. So I'm thinking if I do a morning one, I'm going to want that one here, but if not, I'm going to put something else. So it's going to be my AM photo or I'm going to do a color photo every day. So like I said, I love the rainbow colors. I um, really loved that prompt for day in the life. And so now I decide I'm going to kind of go with a theme per day. So red is Monday, Tuesdays, orange, Wednesdays, yellow. So basically what I'm going to do is put the color of the day is going to have a full page photo. So either it's going to be a full page photo or a collage of photos of that color. So my AM photo or my color of the day. And then I'm going to put that at the very end is going to be a PM photo or color of the day. And if I'm doing the day that has the AM PM, I'm going to put them on the same page and it'll be like a half page photo. So they'll either just go in the, first, the beginning or the end, just depending on how those photos look. But this way I have those two kind of swap out depending on the day. So then on the back of that, I'm going to do something that is not listed on here because I don't need to do anything during the week. But when I was initially planning this out, let me find it. I sketched this out and this was something I thought of before I started really planning. This was just something that came to mind when I was looking at the products when they first came out. So a lot of products this year have pie charts on them as like a, as just, you know, a design element. Well, I did not get the main kit, but I really loved, or those little add on vellum circles, but I loved, or plastic circles. I loved the pie chart idea. So my thought was I'm going to use the pie chart to create a pie chart of my day. So I'm going to use it just to kind of outline, um, how I'm spending my day. So I picked up some colored vellum which I don't have here right now, but I'm going to use it to create a pie chart that is just like how I spent my time. So I'm thinking, you know, there'll be a color for work, a color for sleep, a color for eating, chores, and that's gonna be my pie chart of my day. And then I'm going to make a little key down here and I will write about each thing on the list. And I can actually add a few little details there if I want. And then I'm thinking I might stitch this on, but and I'm probably going to put a title on it and this is going to be on a white background. So, so far I'm looking at my album. I have, you know, my divider here for Monday 
And then none of these things, these are all outside the page protector. There's nothing to stick in here yet. Now I could put like a pocket page and hold like these in here, but I don't know which one's gonna go on which day. So there's no reason to really do that. Okay, so then I'm moving on to this three by eight. So this one I might actually put in a page protector. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to do my outfit photo as a three by eight, which I did that I think last year with a three by eight. And then on the back, I'm going to do this like a stats page. So I'm gonna just, I think I'm gonna stamp out stats. And then I'm going to add on here the weather, which I put weather to make sure I collect it. Steps, which I didn't write on here to collect because my Apple Watch tracks that and I can go get it, access it at any time so I don't have to worry about it during the week. And then I'm going to put schedules and I think I'm going to put mine and my daughter's because she is almost 18. So we have very different schedules. We're doing our own thing. She has her own car. She's driving herself to work, to school. So I think it would be nice to kind of see our schedules side by side. Now I didn't put schedules on here because I keep a detailed planner and um, I write in there kind of what happened when. So I think I'm going to be able to recreate that from stuff I'm already collecting. So I didn't need to like bog this down with that extra detail, but that's gonna be what that page is right there. Now I haven't decided yet if this is going to be inside or outside the page protector. So I'm not putting page protectors in here yet for it. I'm actually not sure if I even have the three by eight size page protector, which might be the deciding factor as to whether or not I use page protectors for that page. But that's just kind of my general plan now. Okay, so then the next one here. This one I'm going to do two paper-based pages. So on the back here, I'm gonna just do the back first. I am going to create a grid of Polaroids. So I'm going to create these digitally where they just kind of look like Polaroid pictures. And I think there was a layered template that looked like this a few years ago that I actually had used, but I'm going to do it where I cut them out. So each Polaroid is its own little picture. So there'll be the white frame and then my photo. And this is just a way to include more photos because I can get nine photos that way, or I could do eight photos and add like an embellishment. So that is going to be the back. And I'm going to put those because those are white frames on a piece of colored pattern paper. So my colored pattern paper here, I went through my stash and what I'm doing with this is kind of using up my stash and I picked a color for each day. And I tried to pick like a everyday life type theme. So for the red one, I picked this one here. So these are the outside the page protector size. I have so many things on my desk, sorry. Um, so I need to crop this to the outside the page protector size, which is seven. And I don't want that to be on there because I want to make sure I crop it straight. Seven by eight and a quarter. And this is eight and a quarter like that, and there we go. And that will be this page here. Now I could punch the holes and stick it in here, but I'm not sure I wanna do that yet because I don't want, I wanna be able to hear, adhere the back on it with, um, and then punch the holes once. So I'm going to wait and do that. Um, but I am probably going to like clip it in here somehow so that I know that that is for that day. What I'm gonna do on the front side here is I want to include some additional things. So this is where I wrote these four pockets. So I'm thinking this is gonna be a white piece of paper and I'm going to create, or cardstock, four pockets that are interactive. And I'm thinking these might be like craft, but I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna make these as I put my album together. And I'm going to stamp on these ING words. Like this. I mean, they're obviously gonna be the full word, but they're gonna be different every day. And in each one, I'm gonna have something that can pull out of the pocket that is going to either be like a photo or journaling that is going to be like a mini thing of something that day. So these are things like the newspaper front page. So what's happening in the news? Screenshot would be, you know, what am I scrolling or watching, reading, texting, whatever the thing is I'm doing on my phone. I might do watching and have a TV show or a movie, reading for my book, eating, drinking for food or my coffee, and then planning for my planner. Now I'm doing it this way where I'm only gonna include four of these things 
for multiple reasons. First of all, something like the newspaper of today's front page, you can only grab that on the day of. And if I forget to grab one, I don't wanna be in a situation where I only have six and I'm missing one if it's like a key design element. So this way I can put it, but if I don't have it, I have a gap where I can fill it with something else. And that just takes a lot of the pressure off for me. Another reason is there's so many things I wanna collect and there's so much going on and there's so many things that I have to fill that I don't necessarily have space for all of these things every day. And then finally, I might not do everything every day. I don't watch TV every day. I'm probably gonna be reading one book for the entire week and that's it. And I don't need to take a picture of it every day, but I probably wanna include it once. So I'm thinking that this will give me a little bit of flexibility and some of them, I might make them like shaped. So like the screenshot, it's probably gonna be like the shape of a phone and you pull it out and it will have what I'm scrolling. And it might have two things, front and back, or it might have words on the, like journaling on the back about what I'm scrolling. And I think I'm gonna do that for each one. It's just going to be a little bit different and it's gonna be kind of a fun interactive element. Okay, so then I'm going to work on this one. So one thing I really want to focus on, and I said this on one of the lives during the prep party, is I wanna focus on the relationship between me and my daughter. So I mentioned she is almost 18. This is going to be the last week in the life where she is living at home with me because she is moving out this August for college. So I want to focus on our relationship on, and so this is a 5.5 inch thing, and I'm going to do a special, a specific story every day and a photo that is about our relationship. Now, some days we don't see each other, so I'm going to have to be very creative about how that works. Um, she goes to her dad's house, usually on Tuesdays, and she also works like alternate hours with me, so there's some days that I don't see her at all, or I see her for maybe like an hour, because I get home from work and then she leaves for work, and then she gets home after I've already gone to bed. So that's going to be interesting to figure out ways to document our relationship during the day, um, whether it's via text or whatever it is, I think that that will be fun. And to kind of document what our relationship looks like now, because I imagine once she moves out, it's going to look very different. I'm also going to stamp the day of the week on here because I did this last year on a similar page, so I'm very much scrap lifting myself in my Week in the Life album. Okay, so here is my 2020 two album and I did this page like this on every day let me see if I can find another one for you guys where I did a, a room in my house every day or I picked like a different space so I think Monday was my kitchen and then I think like Tuesday was actually like my cubicle at work which I'm not even I, I have a different office now I'm on, I'm over by the window. So it's different. It looks different. Wednesday was my car. And then let's see here. Thursday was my daughter's room. And it just continues on like that. I think I did like, yeah, my bedroom on Friday. And then I'm guessing Saturday is going to be my craft room. Let me find it. Yes, Saturday is my craft room. And then Sunday was my house. So that was one story that I chose to tell every day last year. I also did these flat lays. I'm not doing that again this year, but I really liked this design where I have the large stamping stitched on with the text and the photo. So I'm going to copy that again, but I'm going to stamp the day of the week. And this is going to be my relationship photo. So however, I am documenting our relationship for the day, and then I'm going to do some journaling about it. So then on the back of that, I want to collect ephemera. So this is something I have collected in older ones and I haven't done it in the last few weeks, the last few weeks in the lives. I think the last time I did it was in 2020 and then I used the um, two by two pockets to just collect all the ephemera. So what I'm gonna do for this one is I'm going to do a collage of ephemera and I was thinking, you know, maybe I will stick like this on there and like write something on each one. I'm not sure yet um, exactly how I'm going to embellish it, but I want it to be like a collage of ephemera from the day. So it might be that there's just like one thing or there might be a bunch of things. And I'm thinking I'm gonna like stitch it down, but I don't know yet. That's just kind of my idea for what's going there. Okay, so then I have my divided page protector. 
because I did want to include one divided page protector this year because I feel like that gives you some flexibility to do um, some different things. So for my divided page protector, I pulled these transparencies, which were left over from last year's transparent or last year's week in the life. I'm just trying to use up some of my um, kits and products um, because I didn't buy the main kit this year. So it's a good opportunity to use up some of the things that I've acquired through the years. So the divided page protector or these, yeah, the dividers, these were the clear dividers for the cover pages and I used them last year. So pulling this back over here, you can see I used them, but these were created in the 10 by eight size and I made a six by eight album. So I had an extra piece that was cut off. So what I did was I made a three by four out of it and I'm using it here as an extra design element. Then on this three by four thing, I also decided I wanted to, I wanna include some photos, but I wanted to do something else. So I was looking through the digital products and last year, Allie had these four by four cards that said one word for the day. Now I really liked the concept, but I didn't wanna include it last year because at the time that these came out, I think, well, I didn't, they were four by four and I didn't purchase the physical kit and I wasn't doing the four by four pockets. Um, and then I just had so many things I wanted to collect. It was one thing that I just didn't have space for. But this year I have space for it. So I added it on my list here and I printed out the digital versions and I had to alter the colors on two of them um, digitally, the red and the purple, because there wasn't a red or a purple, but these ones were the actual colors that it came with. And I'm going to use these for, I'm gonna put this on here and include my one word for the day. And that's also on my checklist here to make sure that I keep in mind that I need to collect one word for the day. So I'm going to put this in my divided page protector here for Monday along with that. And then I have this here, which I'm trying to decide how to include this in here in my flip through. I'm not sure that I even care to include it. Well, I guess I will. I'm going to include it like that and just it'll fall out, but that's okay. Just so that I know I have it already prepped. So that takes me through my divided page protector and the rest of these are photos. And I feel like if I have too many photos or I don't have enough photos, I can always put um, a filler card from my stash, but I feel like I always have so many photos for recent life. I need places where I can include more photos. So, and I don't have large layered templates on here because I just, I didn't, I have, I, I don't know, I just didn't have space for it. I was thinking I was gonna include some layer templates and include like some collages of photos and I didn't end up planning that because I had so many other things I wanna include. So this gives me more space. I have these photos here and then I want to end with a full page photo again. Now I'm thinking if I do need to include a photo collage, I could always switch my full page photo to a photo collage and the color of the day photo can become a collage if I have multiple photos that make up that color. So I do have some opportunity for, for flexibility if I need to include more photos, but if I don't, I have this plan laid out here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is finish putting all of these pieces in my album and cropping down the paper, putting the divided page protectors in, so these, I also punched the holes using my crocodile. And um, so I always use this to punch the holes in the this plastic because it is such thick plastic. And so a regular hole punch won't work on it. But the holes that the crocodile makes are a little bit small. So sometimes it doesn't fit properly when you just use that. So I'm going to probably have to like fix all a few of these. Yeah, so some of these just need a little bit of adjustment so that they will fit, which is totally fine because I want these to be able to turn smoothly. Nope, still a little bit off. This one needs to go up a little bit. There we go. So then I have Tuesday in here and then I need to go ahead and crop out these and do finish putting that together. The last thing I'm gonna do is my title part, but I'm going to go ahead and put you on fast forward and put this part together 
first. Okay, so some of that was off the camera a little bit because I didn't have enough space on my desk here. Um, but I got everything in here and I'll flip through it one last time. But first I wanna kind of set up the front. So what I decided to do was I took the digital um, from this year and I think that this was actually, um, I think that it's a transparency it might be a vellum piece, but I cropped this down in Photoshop Elements and I'm print I printed out this piece of vellum here that just says like this week and week in the life. And it was originally a 10 by eight size. And I'm just gonna make like a little divider here and I'm gonna include this on here. So I'm gonna hand cut this. I'm gonna put you guys on fast forward quickly to do that. I'm going to go ahead and stamp my dates on here. So in some years I have gone kind of big um, with my title page. Just making sure I have the first correct date. So it's April 24th through the 30th, 2023. Just making sure I have that on the right year. And then, um, so sometimes I've gone really big with my title page. Other times I didn't even have a title page because I ran out of space. So I wanted to just keep it fairly simple this year. And so I made this little thing. I'm gonna punch this hole on here. I think I actually wanna do the smaller one. And of course I slipped and didn't get it in the right spot. So there we go. And then I'm gonna punch my six holes on this and just include this on here like that. And I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna do anything else on it, um, or if I'm gonna put something on the back of this shape, I might. Um, I think for now, I kinda almost don't even want to adhere anything down so I can think about it a little bit more. What I am going to do though, is I'm gonna flip in here. I'm gonna punch my holes in this piece of, actually, I am not. Okay, so I don't actually want to punch my holes or hear anything down with this yet because I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do, but it's smaller than six by eight, so I can fit it in a page protector as just a placeholder, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick this in my album right here as a placeholder for my title page, and that way I can figure out if I want to just put this on here, if there's something else I want to do. But my pretty much just want it to be super simple. So now I'm just gonna flip through here for you really quickly. I have my divided page, I've got my solid piece of paper, and then I've got my divided page protector. My divider, my solid piece of paper, my page protector. Obviously I'm gonna add a lot more during the, or after the week when I put my album together. I don't put my album together during the week itself, but I like having this set up in here so that I know that when I'm going to put my album together, um, I've already got a framework and it can come together very easily. I also want to say like, why are there no purple scrapbooking supplies? I had to dig back into papers I have from like 
the early 2000s, maybe the late 90s, to find this purple paper, which is gorgeous. But why are there no purple scrapbooking supplies? And also, I had to like do this one myself. Please, scrapbooker um, companies, make some purple scrapbooking supplies. I love the color purple, and I will use it. I will buy it, I promise. And then that's the end of Sunday. So that is how this album is going to sit for now. I am not going to add anything else into it until the week, until um, after the documenting week when I go to put my album together. But I have my album set up here. I've got my checklist here and then I've got my plan here. And I'm going to share a little bit more about all of this on the Allie Edwards blog. So hopefully you guys will be able to see that. Now I will edit the description box below to add that link when that post becomes available um, to give you a few more tips on the on Week in the Life. So I hope that you guys are ready for this project. I'm excited. I think I'm ready. I'm going to put all of these products and things away minus just this piece of paper until after the documenting week and then I'm going to, you know, just have fun. See you guys soon.